Oh, much cooler outside. We hit 97 degrees yesterday, so uh, anything cooler than that was certainly nicer for us. We had a weak cold front pass through, so right now we're about 13 degrees cooler out at DIA, 16 degrees cooler for Ray, and 14 degrees cooler in Burlington. Off to the west, not so impacted by about one, two, four degrees cooler, but we'll take any degree that we can get. It's 81 right now in Denver. We have 84 in Greeley, 82 out in Burlington, still 90 though in Lamar for us, 82 in Boulder, 80 in Aspen, uh, still pretty hot in that southwestern corner 87 in Cortez and Durango 83 from our weather watcher Debbie Bidwell she said she sure is liking these 80s uh, from Fort Collins and they won't last for long but we'll take what we can get 83 degrees here a uh, downtown winds are on the east at about 16 miles an hour it has been a little windy today and actually our downtown temperature just flipping to 83 so the almanac should say 83 for uh, the downtown area this puts us right at where we should be for this time of year 82 degrees out at DIA officially earlier today and again it has been a bit windy with that front passing through so we have some gusty winds from Greeley down towards Trinidad, out towards the eastern plains, and even all the way up into our northwestern corner near Craig. And so because of that, we actually do have a red flag warning in parts of Jackson County and into Wyoming as we have gusty winds and low humidity and a lot of dry vegetation out there. That's in place through 8 o'clock tonight. And then in the opposite corner of the state, we have a dense smoke advisory starting at 9 o'clock tonight going through noon tomorrow. Usually when we talk about uh, visibility things, it's, it's in terms of fog, but this is pretty similar to that, just a different element. We have a lot of smoke in that area, so visibility is below one quarter of a mile many, many times through noon on Tuesday. And honestly, these will probably continue as long as that fire is burning so aggressively. So again, just be extra careful down in that southwestern corner. Satellite and radar, you'll notice is pretty quiet. Our front from earlier today, long gone. Actually, the area of low pressure associated with it is bringing some severe weather to parts of the Midwest. For us, just brought us some cooler temperatures. High pressure is going to build back in over the next couple of days and keep us on the dry side. So for tonight, you'll notice the time ticks away but nothing really happens. We have a few clouds maybe out on the eastern plains and then tomorrow late in the afternoon and evening maybe an isolated thunderstorm in Denver but most of them will develop out in our eastern plains especially in that southeastern area so tomorrow's uh, severe weather outlook is uh, the most high in that far southeastern corner. Heading down towards uh, parts of the Pacific Ocean we do have Hurricane Bud right now that is spinning off into the ocean you can see bringing some heavy rain to some areas as it continues to make its way up towards Cabo San Lucas it will uh, start to uh, drop down to more of a tropical depression, but it will still continue to funnel up a lot of precipitation as we head towards Thursday, Friday and into Father's Day weekend. So there's a chance of some cooler, unsettled weather by the weekend. Tonight, 54 in Denver, 53 in Boulder, 54 out in Burlington, a lot of 30s and 40s in the high country tonight. Tomorrow, a little bit warmer for us, 87 in Denver and Greeley, mid 90s in the southeastern corner, 86 in Fort Collins and Boulder and mid 90s for a lot of areas on the western slope. And tomorrow will be another ozone action day out there. So maybe you can carpool to help with emissions or walk to lunch instead of driving your car. And for your five-day forecast, the heat returns big time as we head towards Wednesday and Thursday before maybe some cooler temperatures this weekend.